the Aimpoint Comp ML3. Let's check it out. The Aimpoint Company started in 1974 in Sweden. Uh, they were the first to design the red dot sight, and from that time this has become uh, one of the main staples for our U.S. military uh, from 1997 on until today, and over one million Aimpoint sights are being used by the U.S. military and other militaries around the world. Uh, the Aimpoint is just a really high quality optic, and the price reflects that but not only are is the glass just excellent but they're tough as nails and they can withstand battlefield conditions one of the big things about a site like this is that it's really quick to deploy uh, you can bring it up on your shoulder be able to fire it uh, very easily uh, you can also get magnifiers to go with this and that gives you both the best of both worlds but these red dot sights are made for close quarter combat this is the 4 MOA, which is a little bit larger. They do make a 2 MOA for a little more precise shots. But if you really want to get on that dot quick, the 4 MOA really works well. Uh, it is a red dot, zero magnification, and built like a tank. Comes with um, your standard, in fact, not just standard. This is very detailed instructions and all the features about your uh, Comp ML3. Of course, we have the site itself beautifully finished really hard anodized finish and it's a aluminum body and there is a rubber cover or a boot that goes over to protect it and also to keep it quiet battery compartment right here and I've already installed the battery but I'm going to show you it's one of the little three volt lithium batteries the reference number is the DL 1 slash 3 n take your battery slip it into the cap with the positive end out and then just tighten it down this is your battery tube right here and also I want to make sure it's good and snug. Windage and elevation caps. Uh, previously they had a rubber uh, lashing that went across but they've since changed that. Take this off and then you can get right to your adjustment settings. They're clearly marked with a nice wide slot to be able to turn these. I've had some that it's very difficult to find the slot. Uh, so this slot's going to be easy and of course it gives you the up. And then on this side you would have right to left. And it's tethered with this little rubber piece. Scope does come with lens caps and again the rubber boot. Now I opted to get one of the uh, tan rubber boots which is made by Aimpoint as well. But before we put it on, because it's going to cover up this finish, you can see how the scope is, I mean, just very well finished. Uh, this is a 30 millimeter ring, so any 30 millimeter ring standard, you can put this on and use it. Uh, there are all kind of different risers and many different uh, mounting options. First thing we're going to do, though, is to remove our caps. And these are on really tight. But that means they're not coming loose. I'm using one of the Vortex rings. I do have a quick detach mount on the way that uh, has a riser built in, but we're gonna be putting this on an M1A scout rifle. And so we want a low riser. And we're gonna apply just a little bit of Loctite. Now before we tighten it down, we wanna make sure that it is level. And here we can see that it's on. Getting a little bit of reflection, but there it is. Now we're gonna install the rubber cover and um, I'm gonna put the <clears throat> 
front end first. You want to? It's pretty elastic, so it should stretch some. Just make sure you have all your holes lined up, where you can get to your features. Here we have it attached, and um, of course you have your windage and elevations open, your battery uh, compartment, and your adjustment knob. One thing too that I wanted to add, because even though these are non-reflective, uh, they're definitely going to have some reflection, so I thought a kill flash would be great, and I went ahead and ordered it as well. And this just goes in, and you just screw it down into the objective lens. Now one of the things that Aimpoint has pioneered is battery life extension, which uh, they have the ACET, which stands for Advanced Circuitry Efficiency Technologies. <laughs> no wonder they went with ACET. <laughs> but this will give you 50,000 hours of battery life on the six setting. Now there are 10 settings total on this uh, optic. Uh, they're very tough, they're very reliable, they've been used all over the world with military and law enforcement. It's just an excellent, durable uh, sight system. It is made for both eyes open, and so it just uh, really gives you a lot more field of view. Now this does come in the 2 MOA and the 4 MOA. I chose the 4 uh, because I wanted a little bit more of a close-up and personal. If you want a lot more accuracy at distance, then the 2 MOA is going to be a little bit better. Uh, one through four settings are for really low light. This is not necessarily night vision compatible. If you want night vision compatibility, go with the Comp M3. The weight on this is 7.8 ounces with the battery. That does not include the mount. Very positive. They go on very well. And of course, with these cross bolts here, it makes it really easy to tighten this down. Um, one great thing about this site, too, is that it is submersible up to 135 feet. Uh, it's shockproof, fogproof, and uh, these things are built like tanks. The adjustment button is right here toward the back where the shooter would be, and there's 10 clicks. Tactile, you can feel it, you can hear it. And then we're at 10. You want to back it down four clicks to be on six for the 50,000 hour battery life. I know on the Comp M3, uh, with the night vision setting, it'll go for 500,000 hours. Um, so, I mean, it's amazing the battery life technology that has gone into these, these sites. The zero setting is designated by this little small white mark. Other than that, there are no markings on it. Now, to give you an idea of the red dot itself, this here is brightening, brightening, and then, of course, with the high setting. Uh, this will give you daylight capability without any trouble. But again, we can leave it on that number six position and for you know 50,000 hours, that's just incredible. Uh, I know that the Pro Sight, which is about $150 less than this one that Aimpoint has released, is really to address you know law enforcement agencies that have a you know smaller budget. Uh, it, the battery life on it goes only about 30,000 hours. And um, but it is a tough aim point sight, even the Pro. And really, any of your aim point sights are going to be good, high quality. As you can see on this BCM Recce, uh, the sight is really easy to get to. It's a fairly uh, compact size optic. It's not your micro dot, but the big thing about this is the advantage is you get a bigger field of view when you're looking through the tube. And really, these are made for both eyes open. And really, with this up to your cheek, it's so easy to have that. So any moving targets, anything that's going on around you, it's really easy to bring it up and see. Your eye is not attached right up to the ocular ring. And so very quick to deploy. Again, it's been proven over and over. Uh, it does fit well on the AR-15, but is also right at home on this Springfield Armory M1A SOCOM 16. With the forward rail and the scout setup, it makes it really nice. Now the aim points are parallax free. And that just means that when, no matter what angle you are on your stock, if you can see that dot, that's where the impact will happen as long as you have your scope sighted in. Now, if you really want pinpoint accuracy out to 100 yards, a 2 MOA sight is best. 
uh, because that's two inches or around two inches at 100 yards. With this one, this is a four MOA, so you're gonna have a four inch dot. It's gonna cover up quite a bit of space on your target. Uh, but still, it's very acceptable with accuracy, even with the four inch. It's just not precision pinpoint. Um, but you are using a red dot and not a scope. Now with the BCM Recce AR-15 shooting 5.56, uh, this was without the magnifier uh, at 50 yards. And we did a second group here. And then I uh, deployed the magnifier and then this was the group. So you can see that the magnifier really makes a big difference with real pinpoint accuracy. But when you're really trying to get quick shots, it takes longer to find the dot with the magnifier uh, than it does without. Uh, it's really quick to deploy. So if you're really wanting to get those shots off quick, shooting without the magnifier is a big plus. But then yet, if you want to get some really good accuracy and you need to make more precise shots, deploying the magnifier obviously helps. And this is with the 4 MOA. Now if you go with 2 MOA, you're going to have a little better accuracy because you have a smaller dot. Uh, but you're gonna, it's going to be harder to find that dot than it will be the 4 MOA dot. And we were using HPR 55 grain full metal jacket. Easy to see targets. With the aluminum body, the sight just doesn't weigh that much. It doesn't really change the feel of your rifle. Uh, it's not top heavy, so the balance is still there. You're able to get those fast shots. With the lens covers attached, it's right at about 5 inches in length and about two and a quarter inches in height without the mount. And of course, mounts are so variable, there's so many differences. Using any 30 millimeter ring will fit onto the tube of the uh, optic. And uh, this just happened to be a quick detach mount. Not anything really all that fancy, but it seemed to hold up well. And this standard vortex ring also held up well. Uh, you know, there are some cantilever mounts that are pretty nice out there, and whatever your setup's gonna be. I was using uh, this Vortex magnifier, and it's a 3 8 magnifier. Uh, the alignment wasn't quite right, uh, but it didn't matter. I could see the dot just fine, and I was able to make the shots that I needed to make. And uh, so that's just one of the things, you know, you'll notice during the shooting that the, uh, the optic is not lined up. But you can definitely set up your rings or your mounting system to go with whatever magnifier you choose. The black was included and then we have this uh, FDE and you know I've had this now for about a month and so I've really been wearing it and taking it on and off and it still retains its shape very well. Now the price on the Aimpoint Comp ML3 runs $553 uh, on the Optics Planet website and uh, I want to thank Optics Planet for sending the scope for the test and evaluation. So you get a 5% discount using Suit00 in the checkout, go down into the description and there are a lot of links down there you can go directly to and see uh, which is best for you because there are a lot of different options. Guys, we'll spend hundreds of dollars on a rifle and then go with a cheap optic. Uh, they won't hold their zero, the mounts usually aren't that good, and they're just not durable. Uh, one of the great things about a good site like the Aimpoint is that it has a huge track record with the U.S. military, law enforcement, and with civilians. And uh, if you ever get into the forums, you'll see that the Aimpoint site is always at the top of the list. So the Aimpoint Comp ML3, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. tethered with this little leather piece. Now the Comp M2 has been the main ACOG 4 since 1994. So uh, since 1990. Your eye's not attached right to the reticle. Or so the Aimpoint Comp ML3 somewhere. <laughs> and the M3 L3 